Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group F. Ooh, we got some big matches coming up, because we will see Brenton taking on Tabletop in Champions Team, Blood Moon going up against Chainsaw, and Dinosaur Queen taking on Melon. What a big game at the bottom this could be. But, we have two more matches to get on with first, so let's start with Brenton against the Champions Team. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Brenton we have an Ableosaurus. Doom, 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 doom. Brenton finally got, got their first win of the tournament last time out against Melon. Can they back it up with another win against Tabletop in Champions Team? Speaking of Champions Team, in the blue corner we have a Mapusaurus. The Champions Team, a 100% record so far. Which is a little bit surprising, but it's not that surprising because... Oof. Come on, sound. Work for me. Yeah, it's because we're in the Alpha Arena. This... The audio glitching seems a lot worse in this in this arena. Oh, well. Ooh, down, down. Anyway, as I was saying, can the Champions team get off to continue their winning start? Well, uh, well with a start like this, the answer will be no. Oh, come on, lag. Ugh. I'm sorry, I don't know why he's doing this. Don't usually do this, but... Oh, well. Oh, my God, that was horrific. Oh, that's not good. That's really bad lag, I don't know why. But what isn't bad is it is the start that Brenton has made. Oh, that's a tie. Well, unsurprisingly, no heat eruption. Ooh, we might see some heat eruption though coming up soon though, because the Mapusaurus gets off a hit. And there's that technique boost there. There to make sure that the Mapusaurus actually gets off heat eruption. Ooh, but the Ableosaurus has got other plans. A firebomb coming in. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll reload. I'll reload the emulator after this match. Maybe that'll fix the lag. I, I don't know why it's lagging like this. It's really not this bad. Hmm. My FPS count is lower as well. I usually get 60. But my, like... A lot lower. Okay, back to the match though. Brenton will take a 1-0 lead. Yeah, I'm at like 52, 40, oh, well, whoa, but yeah, 47, 40. All right, as for the champions team second dino, we have a Spinosaurus. Oh my goodness, that was horrific. Yeah, I'm sorry, you, you're just gonna have to put up with it, with it for this one. And then I'll... I'll restart the D-mail and see if that fixes it. Okay, anyway, in, con in question to the match, Brenton has a sizable lead so far, but this Spinosaurus will be at a type advantage here, so that could be key for the Champions team to get back in this match. Well, ties will suit the spider more because it's tie type. Ooh, that will definitely suit it more. Neck crusher coming in and making sure the Ableosaurus doesn't land too much damage. So Brenton still has the lead, but the champions team have pulled it back. Okay, as for Brenton's second dino, we have a Super Mutaburosaurus. Uh, wait, the mode on three. Oh, but, <laughs> wow, this is horrific. I think this is the worst it's been for ages. Like, I get a bit of audio glitching, but, like, actual game lag? I'd never get that. Oh, well. Ooh, Brenton starting strong with a crit there from the Mutterborosaurus. 
Not too much damage dealt, though. Oh, that's a tie. Ooh, another crit from the Mutterborough. Brenton stretching his lead once again. That's twice. Oh, and that's the Spinosaurus taken care of. Okay, as for the champions team's last dino, we have the Pachycephalosaurus, and I think the champions team might be staring down the barrel of their first defeat of the tournament. But do not count them out yet, because this Pachycephalosaurus, the winner of the secret showdown tournament, definitely packs a punch. Ooh, that was big. Oh, hang on. Might be fixed. Okay, I think it might be fixed. Up to ally. Ooh, a big hit from Pachycephalosaurus here, but next round it will be awakening time. Oh, the Pachycephalosaurus! Getting off the crucial hit there. Stopping Brenton there from landing big damage. Could that be a turning point? Oh, that's a tie. But I will definitely suit Pachycephalosaurus more. That, however, will not suit Pachycephalosaurus. And it's still a chance for Brendan here to get that bonus point win. Oh, and that chance has been wasted because the Mutterborosaurus is going to bite the dust. Okay, as for Brenton's third and final dino, we have an Omega Armor, Eokarkiria. And I fear big luck here because the fire effect seems to cause it. Like that. <laughs> um, I think there's, there's still a chance for the Champions team. Brenton hasn't won it yet. And this Pachycephalosaurus still has a secret move there. Which will limit the damage this crit will do. But that will guarantee Brenton points regardless of what happens now. Oh, that's a tie. But again, that will suit the Pachycephalosaurus more. Ooh, a crit coming in and a tappy Jaras for the tiebreaker. Ooh. Ooh, another hit from Pachycephalosaurus. Well, both of our combatants have guaranteed themselves points regardless of what happens in this match. Oh, but I think... It's going to be Brenton for the win. Well, Lily and Q are not enough to stop the champion team from getting a losing bonus point. But, regardless of that, that is a big win for Brenton. And I say a well-deserved one. Although, I think that losing bonus point should do it for champion team now. Right, well, update the table, restart this bloody thing, it's lagged to death, and move on to our next match. Alright, let's hope the, um, qual- Oh, for God's sake, it's in this arena again. Oh, well, prepare for bad lag and bad audio. Anyway, in this matchup, we see Blood Moon taking on Chainsaw. Both of these combatants on eight points apiece. The winner of this matchup will pretty much all but guarantee their place in the last 32. Huh, the roar didn't work then. Oh well. Anyway, up first for Blood Moon we have Chomp. And we haven't seen too much of what Chomp can do because it seems to have died rather, rather quickly. But it's going to be tough though for Chomp because in the blue corner for Blood Chainsaw we have a Sorrow Pelt. This Pelt there will be at a type advantage against that Chomp. How crucial could that be?
Oh for God! I hate this arena. I hate this arena. It's just this, this arena just lags like crazy. Oh, now now random number generators playing at now. Right. Oh, sorry about that. We finally got it working. So, time well, gen time to generate the moves. Okay, so we're going to start with a tie. Ooh, not a good start for the Chomp, but a very good start for Soro Pelta. Oh my god, look at that damage, it almost killed him! Well, a recovery could come in very handy right now for Chomp, can't it? Oh, bloody hell. Here comes the lag again. Oh, poop, -poo, I clicked rock. Okay, the chop chomp was going to win that anyway, so... Yeah, we'll play it like that. A lightning strike coming from chomp. Oh, well, no, if anything, it, it helps Chainsaw, because it doesn't do as much damage as it normally would. Ah, uh, that was a decent recovery, I guess. Chomp pulling it back. Ooh, another lightning strike from Chomp. Could B Blood Moon turn in this match around? But one hit from the Zoro Pelter will end Chomp's days. Ooh, a kamikaze tackle though will give Blood Moon a 1-0 lead. Okay, so it didn't really matter I used Lightning Strike over Paper. Anyway, as for Chainsaw Second Dino, we have an Alberta Ceratops. Gonna have his work cut out here. It needs to pull this back and make sure to take out Chomp quick before it gets too many hits. Otherwise, it will be a long way back for Chainsaw. Okay, the lag seems to be a little bit better now, so it's not too bad as it was in the first match. Famous last words. <laughs> Say that and it lags. <laughs> oh, mental. Another tight. And that is another tight, so consecutive ties there. Enough to take out Chomp. Mm. Not good for Blood Moon, no, because their next Dino is a Baryonyx, which will be at a tight disadvantage against Chainsaw. Yeah, I never actually looked at the, looked at the matchups here, so... <laughs> Didn't realise that Chainsaw would be have two type advantages. Oh, I know we won't have the third one, because Blood Moon's third Dino is Pachycephalosaurus. So yeah, good chance for Chainsaw here, but... Blood Moon definitely doing well. Ooh. I mean, it's not going to do much damage, as you can see there, but it is a hit. And, well, look how much damage this is going to do, and probably the light recovery will heal it all up, so it'll be as if the Baryonyx is crit did nothing. Ooh, an Aqua Vortex there. That could be just what the Barry needs to wrestle back the, the initiative. Ooh, well, he doesn't need Aqua Vortex, but he will get off a Futaba Cannon. And hopefully, when we do the third battle, it won't be in this bloody Alpha Arena. Wow, loads of damage done, even with the type disadvantage. Lots of damage done. Blood Moon definitely looking strong. Ooh, the Light Recovery, though, will definitely help Chainsaw, though. It's been quite a back and forth match. Just when you think Blood Moon's on top, Chainsaw comes back into it. And just when you think Chainsaw starts to pull away, Blood Moon comes back. Been a very even match so far. And that's no surprise given that these two have identical stats. Well, at the minute anyway. They both on eight points. Ooh, but the Baryonyx is going to give Blood Moon a 2-1 lead. Type, advan type disadvantage irrelevant. Okay, as for 
is it, yeah, Chainsaw's third and final dino, we have a spiny dino tector. This could be the beast that wins it for Chainsaw here. But they'll need to get past the Baryonyx first. Oh, and the Pachycephalosaurus as well. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, that's not good, but the dino stuff are there, stopping that crit, stopping the Baryonyx, landing the damage. Yeah, you take a cute teddy bear. But it will not stop the Barry landing this Futaba cannon. Ooh, Chainsaw not looking good. Well, disappointed really, because... As I said, Chainsaw had the type advantage in the first two dinos, so how the hell Blood Moon is winning is beyond. But Blood Moon winning is what's happening. And it might even be a bonus point win, which is kind of unthinkable, to be honest. Oh, maybe not. Wait, is this Neptune Street? No, it's Tragic Sphere. But, whatever it is, it will finish off the Barry and deny Blood Moon that possible bonus point. Okay, as for Blood Moon's third and final dino, we have a Pachycephalosaurus. Oddly, interestingly enough, and like most secret dinosaurs, this doesn't have all secret moves. Which makes it even more interesting to face. Although, we've seen that help Blood Moon and hinder him, so... It's, got, it's been 50-50 so far. Ooh, Spiny getting another hit. Blood Moon, no, Chainsaw not going down yet. Oh, and all of a sudden, <laughs> from a winning position, Blood Moon's in a bit of trouble. And well, Aqua Javelin there would have finished the fight. Oh, look at this. This is what it's all about. You know, regardless of the lag, this has been a very good match, and here we go again, RNG being a jerk. Got on, RNG. Right when, when, right when it's getting interesting, you do this. Okay, it did it again, but we're back. Okay, so that's six. Ooh, it's a tie! Oh, look at that! Oh my god, it's another tie! Oh, it's Dino Tech the tie! Wait, it's Dino Tech the time. Hang on, I gotta enter the code. Oh my god, it all comes down to this. I think because the Pachycephalosaurus is tie type, it might even survive another tie. But we're gonna find out. Oh, it's not a tie! The Pachycephalosaurus snatching it at the death. Whoa, what a win for Blood Moon. Ah, oh, despair for Chainsaw there. A missed opportunity to finish the job. Wow. <laughs> what a match that was. But I think a well-deserved win for Chainsaw, for Blood, for Blood Moon in the end. But don't despair, Chainsaw, because you will still get a losing bonus point, and you never know how crucial that could be. Right, time to update the table, and we'll move on to our last match of this video. Alrighty then, a big match at the bottom, this. Between Dinosaur Queen 777 and Melon. Up first for Dinosaur Queen, we have a Tajongosaurus. Uh, it's not, not quite happened for Dinosaur Queen so far, but maybe today's the day that her campaign will turn around. And finally, we're not fighting in the stupid Alpha Arena. Okay, as for Melon in the blue corner, we have a Sorrow Faganax. This beast has basically been team carrying so far. And I think the key for Melon here is if they can kill Tajongosaurus with Sorrow Faganax, Dinosaur Queen's next dino is a wind dinosaur. And that means the Sorrow Faganax will be at a tight advantage. And that could be key if Melon wants to win this match. As for Dinosaur Queen, 
Well, she's got to make sure that don't happen. If she can get past the Soro Faganax, then she'll have a good chance to win this match. And that is a very good start there, a critical block, which means that Tajongosaurus will be going paper, and the Soro Faganax will be going rock. Ooh, a big rock roller this. Big damage coming, Soro Faganax's way. If Melon gets defeated here, then that means Champions Team, Blood Moon and Chainsaw will all book their places in the last 32. Oh my god, I think it's lethal! Wow. That is what Dinosaur Queen can do. And in quick as a wink, the Sorrow Faganax bites the dust. Okay, as for Melon's second Dino, we have a Desantorurus. Well, Melon's going to have his work cut out now because the big MVP of the team has been beaten. And the Tajongosaurus hasn't even been hit. Wow, shows how big that critical block was. Massive moment. Well, a tie will definitely suit the Sanjurora small. A melon finally striking back and is going to need to. Hmm. Still seems to lag. What's this? Earth barrier that will definitely help melon come back into this match. But the Tajongasaurus here getting off that critical block. Although this hit won't do much damage, as you can see. Boosh. But Crystal Crusher has been triggered. Okay, so Tajongasaurus will be going rock. Nope, can't go paper. Can't go paper. But you can go scissors. And the Tajongasaurus gets another hit off. Melon can't afford another rock roller to hit him. Oh, here comes another critical block. Dinosaur Queen tightening her grip on this match. And it looks likely for her to go into a 2-0 lead. Okay, so again, she'll go rock. Ooh, a crystal crusher coming from Desantorurus. Could that be a turning point? Oh, the Tajongasaurus survived. Earth Barrier, though, coming in. Protecting the Desantorurus there. Ooh, that's a tie, but I think this Tajongasaurus is revival type, so we'll get to come back. Yep. The job not done yet for Melon. Okay, now the job is done. The Tajongasaurus finally biting the dust. Melon pulling it back, but Dinosaur Queen still has a decent lead. As for her second Dino, we have a Rugops. Watch out for that Hurricane Beat Jet Shuriken combo. As we saw with the Tajongasaurus, with Rock Roller and Giga Hammer, it can definitely do a lot of damage. Oh, that's a tie, but a sand trap be activating from Desantorurus. That will lower Rugops' defense in a tie, which means, in other words, he will take more damage when it's a tie. Oh, Archaeopteryx charm there. Healing and like... Wow, that was rubbish. Okay, that was two. Ooh, the Desantorurus getting hits off on the Rugops. Wow, I was terrible. I mean, at least we got to see it, but a bit wasted there. Okay, the Desantorurus finally biting the dust. Despite the Earth Barrier, Desantorurus didn't have enough HP to survive. 
Okay, as for Melon's third and final dino, we have a Gojirasaurus. Good dinosaur this could be. Lots of, lots of strength in it. Decent amount of technique. Will be tough for queen, Dinosaur Queen to take out. Oh, bloody hell, that was bad. That was really bad. Okay, the Rugop's getting off hits, though. Oh, that's a tie. And that's another tie. I'll suit Rugop's more because it is tie defense type. Oh, I think this might be it for Melon. A hurricane beat coming from the Rugops. A bonus point win looms. Looks likely for Dinosaur Queen. Yep, yeah, that's game over for Melon. A big fat bonus point win for Dinosaur Queen 777. Oof. Right back in the group stage now. And you know it's good that you know it's good that everyone got, gets at least one win in this tournament because I don't want people to have five losses. <laughs> okay, I'll update the table and we'll end the session. Well, Group F's looking interesting, isn't it? And because of those, because of that win for Dinosaur Queen, both the Champions Team and Blood Moon have assured their places in the last 32. And Chainsaw is through as well. Actually, no. Um, is there a scenario where Chainsaw can lose? Actually, yeah, there is a scenario where Chainsaw can lose because if they lose 3 0 to Melon, Melon will go up to 9 points and be above Chainsaw. And then, regardless of whoever wins this match, then if Brenton wins this match, they'll go above Chainsaw and then Chainsaw will be knocked out. So, there, you know, there's still a little bit of work to do, but Chainsaw basically has one foot in the door. But as for Brent and Dinosaur Queen and Melon, there's plenty of work to do. And I think it's honestly it's between these three for fourth. These three are going to go through. Well, these two are already through, but Chainsaw is pretty much through. But it does come down to these three. And wouldn't you know it, Brent and Dinosaur Queen have to face each other. What a massive game that could be. And it will have the Champions team taking on Blood Moon. That's probably a fight for top spot. Actually, yeah, it will be a fight for top spot. Even if Chainsaw gets 5 points in their next match, there'll be 14. One of these two will have 14, and I think both of them beat Chainsaw. So, yeah, this will be a straight-out shot for top. And then we'll have Chainsaw taken on Melon, which will be a pretty tough game for Melon. But, yeah, that's how Group F looks. So, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time where we'll kick off round four for Group G. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.